Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial I will show you a real simple method to graph this given sine function. So this method will be called five points method. Before we get started I want you to compare this uh, this function whatever given to us with our standard form which is what y equal to a sine of bx plus c and then plus d so before we get started you see right now the coefficient over here before sine is simply the leading coefficient is one once we compare these two things, you can see that our A turns out to be how much? A turns out to be 1. B turns out to be how much? B is what? 3. C is how much? C is negative pi over 2. And d equals to 4. So that's very first step. So our next step is once we figured out a, b, c and d we want to find the amplitude and our the formulas on, are on the right hand side just keep in your mind the amplitude is always the absolute value of a and a is 1 so the absolute value of 1 is going to be 1. The period is going to be how much? It is always for sine is 2 pi divided by the absolute value of b which becomes what? 2 pi divided by 3 is going to be our period. Now we want to find the increments so I will tell you what the increments means over here. Just you need to uh, figure out. So increment is nothing more than whatever you figured out the period divided by 4. So whatever you got 2 pi over 3 and divided by 4 is same as you are multiplying by 1 fourth. So this turns out to be how much? This is when you simplify this turns out to be what? Pi over 6. This is our increment. So the midline are the sinusoidal axis all these things just keep in your mind that sinusoidal axis midline center line central axis and equilibrium line are essentially the same thing so our midline is going to be how much y equals to how much it is going to be y equals to d and d is how much 4 so that is your midline. So in other words, based on this midline, you can see that how much this is going up or down. So this is what? This is 4 units up since this is positive 4. So in order to figure out the maximum, whatever you got y value, put down 4 right up here and 4 right up here for minimum and then see what is your amplitude amplitude is simply what 1 so over here you're gonna add 1 and here for minimum you subtract 1 so that's gonna be how much 4 plus 1 is what 5 is gonna be your maximum value and 4 minus 1 is gonna be 3 is gonna become your minimum value of that one and as far as phase shift is concerned I will go over in just a few minutes okay so let's get uh, let's take care of this starting point in order to take care of the starting point I want to make sure whatever inside the parentheses whatever blah 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 I want you to put that thing equals to zero so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to put down 3x minus pi over 2 equal to what? 0. And I want you to solve for x. And x turns out to be how much? x turns out to be pi over 
six piece of cake. So from here, this X is essentially, this is same as our phase shift. I want you to just go and put it right up here. So that is going to be how much? Your phase shift is going to be a pi over 6. And since this is a positive pi over 6, that means it's going to be towards right. Okay? If it were negative, then you will go on the left-hand side. So now the next step we want to do is I want you to put a number line and we're going to draw five points so this is what i'm going to do i want you to put down this number line and i am going to put down uh five points so the first point is right up here the second is right up here number three is right up here and then i'm going to put down five points do you see that thing? So right now over here, this is the very first step I want you to do. Five points I put down. So our starting point, as you, as you see that x equal to pi over 6 is our starting point. I want you to put down pi over 6 is our starting point. The next one is going to be how much? The next one. We know one thing. I just want to make sure that our increment over here. Do you see the increment over here? How much you can add to get to the next point? Increment is pi over 6. So we have a pi over 6. If you want to add this pi over 6, let me just make sure that I take care of this one. So I want to write down pi over 6. Add pi over 6. This becomes 2 pi over 6. Once again, the increment is pi over 6. Just keep in your mind that we're going to be adding this much. So that next is going to be a 3 pi over 6. This is going to become 4 pi over 6. And this becomes 5 pi over 6. So we got these five points. First one is how much? So first one is pi over 6. The next one is 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6. Pretty simple. Now, before we get started, I want you to look at the basic y equal to sine of x function. It looks like this one over here. You can see that one. It always looks like this thing. It starts off with the intercept. That means it is touching the x-axis, your main midline over here. Then at the next point, it becomes what? Maximum, then intercept, and on the next point, it becomes minimum, and then intercept. Based on that one, this is what I will be putting down over here. So we know that this, the very first point, is going to give us intercept. Then the next point, this one, is going to become maximum. And this is going to become intercept once again. And that is going to give us minimum. And this final point is going to become intercept so this is our all the bottom line whatever we have done so far based on this thing we're going to sketch our graph just keep in your mind and in our final step we are going to sketch the graph based on these five points as i have put down again so here's our x and y axis this is by the way i already put down the values pi over 6 2 pi over 6 3 these are our five points and this is by the way y equals to what Four, which is our midline just keep in your mind our midline and we know our maximum is what x equals to 5 I want you to just uh, y equals to 5 by the way so this is going to be our maximum over here 
y equals to 5 is our maximum and y equals to 3 is going to be our minimum. I just want to make sure. So y equal to 3 is our minimum. So uh, that means our graph is going to oscillate in between uh, maximum and minimum around this midline okay just keep in your mind over here and then the last step over here I want you to look at these five points over here the very first point is gonna be a, this one is our intercept this is going to be our maximum this is going to be our intercept again this is going to be our minimum and this is our intercept okay now let's go ahead and start uh, sketching the graph okay so let's look at at pi over six that's the where we're gonna start off this is pi over six is our starting point so this is gonna be the intercept that means intercept means it's gonna touch the midline always intercept means that it's gonna be touching midline maximum means over here at this point means that it's gonna go all the way to the maximum value right up here and then for i for 3 pi over 6 is gonna become intercept once again and then it is going to be at 4 pi over 6 okay, that's going to be a minimum value so i'm going to put this point right up here and finally this is going to be right up here so the next thing is what i want you to do is just simply connect these points and we're going to get our graph so our graph is going to look like much like this one so please bear with me once again so you can see this is our graph and again if you want to make sure this will keep going on and go on on this side and it will keep going on and on and on on this side so pretty much that is our function that has been given to us thanks for watching